Hello everyone and welcome back to the Custard Experience and welcome back to Auto Nauts. Last episode we had some uh, folk moving around a little bit and the episode before that we did a couple other things but in between those episodes there were a couple of things that I did that I'd like to just show you. So for one, I ended up, uh, there's stone south of the, the base in this section, that's what I'm looking at the moment. I added some, um, some bots to mine some stone because uh, I was running, uh, running out of stone. So the stone will help these guys um, get more stone. Um, I didn't do anything here, I didn't do anything here. That's where the folk used to be, I moved them down south to the beach. Um, oh, I, I added a an overflow for, for the logs. So my log fetches will try to put logs into the first one, and if they can't, they will put them into the second one, if they, and if they can't, they'll just take them to the big giant head and throw it away. And then I have a bot that constantly moves from the second one back to the first one to keep this one as full as possible so we we can have these resources flow. Um, I got my turf prep guys to just work on a small little band there we go, of space over there. They'll clean up all of those uh, Mark 1 and Mark 2 bot pieces because I made my bot makers actually just take straight from the um, Mark 2 bots now, they'll just directly create Mark 2 bots instead of a Mark 1 bot which then gets upgraded by the, um, by the upgraders. Uh, what else did I do? Oh my... Uh, where is it? Spade? No, the axe. Here we go, the axe. Uh, the axe and the pick, they both were running quite low. So what I did is I sp instead of having a single bot um, pick up one stone and pick up a stick and dropping it here and picking up the the pick and put it in the box, I've now got three bots. I've got one constantly dropping stone, I've got one constantly dropping sticks, and I've got one constantly just picking up uh, picks and putting in the box and the stone dropper here will check the the, um, the storage if the storage full it won't drop stone so I don't have an infinite pile of, of picks uh, piling up yet so that's for the sort of pick and for the crude X um, oh, also the the brick house research finished so I can now make a brick house all seven stages of it, except I don't make a wooden beam yet because I need the saw. And if you recall, the saw is the slumber technology over here, which I need a crude metal axe, which I can finally make as of the last episode. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let me do that right now, actually. So a uh, where is it? To make a crude metal X, I need one of these crude metal workstations, and I've got some some over here. And right now, I don't have anything to do with the metal plates and the metal poles. So what I'm going to do is uh, take my metal pole two guy. And for now, I'm just going to. Pause him. I'm going to make him stop there, come over to me, drop, and play again. Uh, no, 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 don't play. Just stop. Okay, so what I'm going to temporarily do is just change the metal X. I'm just going to make one manually. So I'll grab a metal storage. And metal over there and I'll grab a pole just stretch for one of these saws 
and I can go and start the um, well, once I've got the crude metal X, I can move this back to eat poles and you can carry on again. Thank you, sir. So now, if I remember to make the title of this video uh, clickbaity enough, um, I would have said there's, there's a bit of a plot twist slash surprise, and, and here it is. Um, we have a village. <laughs> I, I did have 18 uh, guys in here. I figured I can actually fit 50 of them in here. So I created a bot that would automatically make a new folk uh, for me if he finds that there's a uh, an empty stone house in this area. So that happened. Um, let me get this metal X into this research so they can start doing this research and really I just wanted a, a village so that I can get a ton of research going so the primary research is now the lumber technology secondary research once the lumber technology finishes is just textiles and clothing that would be tier 5 clothing um, so I'm, I'm planning on filling this up so I've got 10 17 left to go so what I can do is I can just add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, no. uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and uh, yeah, that's it. So there's a lot of stone about to get used. These guys, you, that, that's why I ran out of stone, that's why I created the second uh, or the third metal base down south. Um, they, these stone houses take a ton of, of stone to make. The second stage for each of them is a chimney and a, a fireplace, each taking 10 stone. The third stage is 10 stone themselves, so that's just to get to the third stage, there's uh, there's already 20 stone. And I'm, I queued up 15 of these. So, lots of stone about to get used. I actually, during my experimentation, um, I ended up running out of tools and um, running out of stone. So, all my bots that needed any tool that required stone, such as the crude blade and the pick and the um, the spade and all of those guys, they just stopped working because I couldn't get their tools. So everything just dried up and stopped working. Um, all right, so so we queue those up. Uh, what I did notice while I was looking around is is that we're out of cereal seed. And that is used for the tier 4 food, so I want to make a bit of a, an adjustment with the cereal. And I was reading up on the cereal, uh, on the alternates wiki, and um, with the, the, what's it called, the, the threshing machine, if you put a one of these cereals in a threshing machine, it pops out too cereal seeds and a straw whereas a guy that does flailing um, it pops out a single cereal seed and a single straw so what I intend to do on the cereal bots is I intend to take these two flailers make them stop doing that and uh, make some adjustments here which includes some threshing machines so I'll just pop a threshing machine over there and that's still within the blueprint area they'll pick it up um, while I wait for that I can put oh no 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 storage box please so I'll put a storage box there for storage of the cereal and I'll create a cereal fetcher 
And he's just going to be a very simple. Pick up in the store, please. Uh, in that area. Uh, until hands full. If, wait. If hands are empty. And just drop off over there, please. Or ever. Okay. So now, one beautiful thing of the, the signs that I've got and the programs that I've got for these uh, for these spots is that I don't need to do much in the line of of um, changing their programs to make this adjustment. My I already have. Um, my cereal seed fetches that they looking for cereal seeds in this this outer area. So if I position my my threshing machine just inside the outer area, so that the output of the threshing machine is inside that outer area, my cereal seed fetcher, as well as my straw collector. We'll just pick it up and carry on working. So all I need to do is is the one adjustment I've done already. I've got a serial um, a serial fetcher which will take these and plonk them into this box over here and my two flailers. Uh, I just need to make them fetch from the box and put it into the threshing machine. Nothing else. Everything else will just keep on working and keep on uh, just, just literally, just keep on working. Um, so, flailer number one becomes thresher number one, and he will just, I think, yep, I can just replace all things. So, pick that up until your hands are empty. But if your hands are empty, pick your hands up until they're full. And you just empty. Mm, sorry, I need to choose a recipe. So, threshing number one, please. So, take your empty hands into the threshing machine. And do that. Now, it pops out three ingredients. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of a break on you. So, um,. I'm going to do it so until the station is full, until the threshing machine is full. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, pick up from there. And drop in there. Repeat until your station is full forever. And that's it. Uh, I've, I've, I've injected a, a process into the into the serial um, process. And that will just keep working. Um, because I stopped my, my, my flailers, uh, there is a bit of an interruption over here that things weren't happening, but that will speed up again soon. Um, I did see that I, I I need a an extra serial tiller. So what I'll do is I'll just grab one of these and add a helping hand over there. There we go. So that should sort out our serial production a little bit. Um, the cereal seed fetcher, they'll just find any seeds lying around in this area. I'll be able to move to change this um, target to be between those two only and then they'll work fine. They don't need to be looking for in this whole area, but this whole area is fine. And, and that should work well though. Um, what else? Uh, 
how's our oh these are going well um what's my my stone is fairly empty what's this that's fairly empty and this should be oh, okay so i've got a guy with a cart walking really slowly oh wow he's a mark one bot he, he really needs a bit of an upgrade <laughs> I need to send Wonderbot his way. I should send Wonderbot past here. All right. Well, he'll eventually catch up. So at least the, the the tools aren't running low. Okay, great. So let's take uh, those seven. Uh, those aren't done yet. Okay. So as I put those down, I should have a. But there we go, here he comes. He'll just drop a, uh, a folk into into a house. And keep going. So that's that's me building a big uh, a big village of, of stone house. Uh, folk with the stone being low obviously these these guys don't get their stone full of maintenance fast enough but that will catch up once this is sorted out uh, let me just check on my forest the forest had a bit of a slowness wonder if I can nah Oh wow, my seedlings is empty. Oh, hello, my seedlings is empty. So, seed is seedling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not fast enough. Interesting. I need another one of these. I wonder. No, it's catching up. Alright, okay. Well, I hope that wasn't too boring to watch. Um, I will move some more houses into the, into the village. These straw mm. ah, there it goes okay nice keep going okay. so I need three more okay one more okay well I won't uh, make you watch the stone houses bold um, I'll just, I'll just wrap up the episode right there. So that's a tier 4 village growing and giving me lots of love. Oh, I might, I might need... <laughs> wow. Okay. My guys can't fill the research fast enough. I guess I've reached the cap of how many folk for one research station is is sufficient. Yeah. Okay, well I'll do some calculations. Maybe I can do both researches at the same time. Anyway, um, you've been watching the Custard Experience. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. See ya.